Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to share the perspective of looking up in life. As abstract as that sounds, it applies to any and everything. While you're on your journey, while you're moving forward, you want to keep your head down, staring at your feet. Look forward to what's ahead of you. Look up and around at the things that are currently surrounding you at your station or places in life. Absorb all that is around you in your travels as the experience that it is. Now, as I frequently use the analogy of souvenirs, you will pick up souvenirs and let them go and pass them on to others at times, and that's okay. But always remember to look up. If you're in a, if you're into the religious or spiritual aspect, I won't even say those labels. If you simply believe in something more, that's your guiding force. Look up to that. Don't look up to your fellow humans. Look up to that spiritual aspect. Look up to that realm. That's the force that's been pulling you along the entire time. I share these thoughts after an interesting conversation with my neighbor. Where we're outside looking up at the sky and we're grateful, simply grateful. We have conversations every time we bump into each other and very pleasant conversations. But in seeing him marvel at the sky, just as I was doing right before he came out, it was an understanding of where we are in our journey, whatever the day has ahead for us. It's part of our travel, it's okay. It's nothing to worry about. There's nothing really to plan for. Why go through all the planning for the rock that you may not encounter or the obstacle that you may not encounter on your travels? Be at peace. Understand the peaks and valleys is essentially the nature of the journey. It's amazing how the small things or the, the simplest interactions can be all you need. What can nourish the spirit? In some shape, form, or fashion, if one person hears this, I, I really do hope that it does the same for you. Don't look up to your fellow man or fellow woman. Uh, look up to the sources guiding and pulling all of us, whether we acknowledge their presence or not. Because in that appreciation, so a peace of mind comes. I believe I'll leave it at there because <laughs> I can ramble on this topic for a while. With those things said, Thank you for allowing me to share my thoughts. I look forward to hearing your thoughts as well, fellow traveler. Until the next time, be safe. More importantly, be blessed.